Hey kiddos, I wanted to review some concepts from modules four and five when we worked on adding and subtracting. So we're gonna start off with some addition problems and we're going to start off by adding 523 and 128. So we write our problems vertically and we are starting off in the ones place. We are adding three plus eight. Eight count on three is 11. One stays, a group of 10 moves next door. So now we're in the tens place and we're adding two plus two, which equals four plus one equals five. Then we are going to move on to the hundreds place. Five plus one equals six. So again, when we added 523 plus 128, we started in the ones place. Three plus eight was 11, one stays. A group of 10 is bundled and it moves next door to the tens place. Two plus two is four, plus one is five. There is nothing that needs to move next door. So we add the hundreds just as they are, five plus one, equals six. Ready to practice another one with me? All right, in the next problem we're going to add 465 plus 192. Again, we're stacking those problems vertically, starting in the ones place. Five plus two equals seven. Next, in the tens place, six plus nine. Can you tell me? It equals fifth. 15. Five can stay. A group of 100 moves next door. Then four plus one equals five plus one equals six. The sum of 465 plus 192 equals 657. If you follow those steps, you should be able to tackle those bundling addition problems. Next, we're going to move on to subtraction. With subtraction, it looks similar when we stack our problems vertically. We have our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. Again, we are starting off in the ones place, but I always tell my kiddos, if you have more on top, there's no need to stop. You can, can subtract straight down, but if there's more on the floor, you need to go next door and get 10 more. If the numbers are the same, zero is the game. So let's see what we're subtracting. We're subtracting 343 minus 174. So in the ones place, I have three minus four, it doesn't work. So I'm going to go over to the tens place, I'm gonna knock on the door and I'm gonna say, hey tens, can I have one please? They are nice, they like to share. They're going to let us have one. So now there are three tens, but now there are 13 ones. So we have 13 minus four. 13 minus four equals nine. Now I'm going to go into the tens place. I have three minus seven. It doesn't work. So I have to go to the hundreds place and knock on the door. Hundreds, can I have one please? Sure thing. So now I have two hundreds and I have 13 tens. So 13 minus seven equals six. Now in the hundreds place, I have two minus one. Two minus one is one. Good job guys, your difference of 343 minus 174 is 169. Let's go ahead and try another problem. We're going to subtract 592 minus 329. So we always start in the ones place and we ask ourselves: is the number on top or the number on the bottom bigger? The number on the bottom is bigger. So we have to go next door and get 10 more. So we no longer have nine. How many do we have? Eight. And since we're bringing my group of 10 over to the ones place, we no longer have two ones. We have 
12. So we have 12 minus 9. 12 minus 9 equals, can you help me out? You got it. It equals 3. Now in the tens place, I have 8 minus 2. Can you help me out? What's 8 minus 2? If you said 6, you're correct. Now over in the hundreds place, is the number on top bigger? It is. We can, can subtract straight down. 5 minus 3 equals 2. So the difference of 592 minus 329 equals 263. So again, to review, when you're subtracting, if you have more on top, there's no need to stop. You can subtract straight down. But if there's more on the floor, you need to go next door and get 10 more. If the numbers are the same, zero is the game. I hope this helped reviewing your addition and subtraction strategies. Thanks, guys.